All right, guys, Delzinski here, and well, it's been a pretty crazy 24 hours within the wrestling industry. I mean, you know, well, let me just tell you exactly how I've seen it, because I was trying to go to sleep last night, and my phone was going mental, and uh, someone actually tweeted me that, you know, AJ Styles has said he's finishing up with New Japan Pro Wrestling, and then all of a sudden, pictures were emerging that AJ Styles had followed Triple H on Twitter, and it was like, oh my god, what is going on? And now the news is developing that potentially AJ Styles, a few other Bullet Club members, I think Luke Gallows, Carl Anderson, and I think as well that Nakamura is also going to end up going to the WWE. And, you know, nothing is set in stone yet, there's no guarantees of this, but it's sounding more likely than not that this will happen. So, I've been absolutely loving all the news that's going on, and it's made me seriously hyped. I mean, AJ Styles in the WWE, you know, there's big risks associated with that. I mean, how the WWE will treat a superstar like AJ Styles, considering where he's come from, TNA, etc. But, you know, I'm really hopeful that this could be, you know, the final moment for AJ Styles. You know, he's coming towards the end of his career, ending it in the WWE. And I really hope that the WWE treat him well. And that's what I want to talk about in this video. Because it's got me thinking, where will the WWE place someone like AJ Styles if he does indeed sign a contract? Because, you know, we've seen recently with anybody that's come from outside the WWE developmental process, they have to go through NXT. And NXT has become a beast of its own. It's not really a developmental program. It's become, you know, its very own brand. And, you know, that's why I put this footage together of AJ Styles and Finn Balor, because this could be a match we could see if AJ Styles goes to NXT. And it would be phenomenal. You know, I'm not messing about when I say that. I'm not just using it as a little pun. It would be phenomenal to see matches like AJ Styles versus Finn Balor, AJ Styles taking on the likes of Hideo Itami, AJ Styles versus Samoa Joe, reignite that. I mean, it would be excellent. And the more I think about it, the more I believe that AJ Styles suits the style of NXT. But... When is the last time we saw a big name come from elsewhere and arrive immediately on the main roster? We don't get that anymore. We've seen Samoa Joe arrive in NXT. We saw James Storm arrive in NXT. And there's interesting news going on about James Storm at the moment. Is he even with NXT at the moment? Because there sounds that he could be at the Pop or the Impact Wrestling debut on Pop. So he could be signing a deal back with TNA. It's just craziness in the wrestling world at the moment. But back to AJ Styles. Because when have we seen, you know, a big name talent surprise us and arrive on Monday Night Raw? I don't remember the last time it's been a surprise because whenever they've done anybody coming back, it's always been advertised. So it's not really a shock. And whenever they've done someone new, it's usually been down on NXT. And I think it would be epic if, you know, they gave someone like AJ Styles the opportunity to just simply go on the main roster, make an impact. And how much of a buzz would that generate about the main show for once? We'd all be talking about Monday Night Raw. AJ Styles was on Monday Night Raw. AJ Styles brought the former Bullet Club members to Monday Night Raw. That would get the buzz about the main show. The buzz is always about NXT, NXT, NXT. And that's because all the good things happen down on NXT. All the shocks happen down on NXT. And it absolutely devalues the main show. And as you see, AJ Styles nailing the Styles Clash to Finn Balor. Is that enough to put Finn Balor away? One, two, oh, Balor kicks out at two and I mean you know if if AJ Styles did go to NXT I'm not going to complain because I think there are epic matches to be had but I kind of keep weighing this up you know I keep having these debates on Twitter you know about the main show I watched three hours of Raw last week and I, I really felt it was poor not a good product 
and they need something to spice it up. And with all these guys leaving New Japan and looking for a new home, you know, the main roster could be the best way that they could make a huge impact and get everybody talking and everybody saying, wow, Raw was awesome. Because when's the last time you said that? Oh, as AJ Styles nails it. Pin for one, two, three. So I want to get your views in the comments section below. Do you want to see AJ Styles heading up to the main roster immediately? And, you know, maybe being a shock entrant in the Royal Rumble, even more cooler. Or do you want to see him, you know, stay and do the standard process of like we've seen with Samoa Joe, like we've seen with Jane Storm, and come through NXT first? You know, one thing to note is that AJ Styles has been a champion wherever he's been. You know, TNA, World Heavyweight Champion. In New Japan, he was a champion. So... Maybe they should give him the respect that he deserves and not make him go through that developmental stage. My only concern is if he does, he's under Vince's wing as opposed to Triple H. And we all know that Vince isn't the best at booking at the moment. And he likes your jacked up guys like Roman Reigns. He's not a sort of AJ Styles guy. Um, we all saw how much hard work it was to get Daniel Bryan over. Just imagine what it's going to be like with an ex-TNA guy. So yeah. That is what I want to talk about with you guys today. As I said, it was a quick video. I put this footage together as well. I think the match was pretty cool if you actually do watch it back. Um, you know, Bala and Styles. Look at these idiots putting their signs in the way. Trying to see the replay, damn it. But, you know, and they've just spoiled the epic replay finish as well. Nice one, crowd. But, nevertheless, I want to get your views on it in the comment section below. Should AJ Styles end up on NXT? Should he end up on the main roster? That is the talk at the moment. Where will AJ Styles go if he does indeed sign for the WWE? Craziness. Absolute craziness in the wrestling world. And to be honest, it's about damn time we had something like this to get us hyped. And I'm a massive AJ Styles fan, so if AJ Styles does arrive, I'm going to be marking out, that's for sure. All that's left to be said is please rate, comment, and subscribe. This is Delzinski. Sign in. Out.